How's it going today, y'all? We're up back up here at Richard's shop. The one that I showed you last time. Uh, Richard's automotive. Right there. We're up here, he's letting us use the lift. We're getting ready to put the 4L60 back in. Um, we're, I'm actually filling up the torque converter with transmission fluid right now to get it kind of pre-lubed before we actually go in there and put the torque converter in the transmission. And after we get the torque converter and transmission in it, we're going to be running, uh, cutting the stock transmission line. Yeah, this camera keeps cutting off, it's stupid. But we're going to be running new lines and uh, putting an external transmission cooler on it. Like I said, to keep the heat down, we got uh, just a random one from Pet Boys. Uh, it should be a pretty nice one. This should keep the heat down. So, I'll see you all in a minute. So, I think you all need to turn around and walk back again. <laughs> uh, just going all over the place. Is that it? So we got a so the original bolt holes for the flywheel were metric, and now we got to drill them out. You see that one hole just got two two flats on it. See it? It's a square hole. See it? Uh, this hole here. Okay. See these holes here are big enough, but this one here you always put this one in first. Right. And then you you can go ahead and tighten it down. Done. And then you, when you get to the next hole, these holes are, have a clearance to them. Okay. So th that's always a startup hole. But you can't you, uh, use it because they got that, the larger bolts. Yeah, I just turned to this that one there now. That's one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, normally that would be the first one you would do, snug it down, done. Right. Go to the next hole, put it in, tighten it down, done. Instead of having to start them all, like you're, you're going to have to now, you're going to have to start them all. Yeah, I know. I'm mean, I learned that from the last time I was up here. Yeah. See where that's all around, uh, completely around this, like slide it a little bit? Yeah. You can put it in there and tighten it down and just mm -hmm. See, all that, that's put them all, all in. All, all right. Your, your, your starter hole, your lineup hole, what they call it. Somebody sat here. Mm-hmm. You don't need them. No, I don't need that junk. <laughs> It is junk, ain't it? <laughs> that, that, that was wrong. Yeah. No, no, you said it right. You gotta <laughs> wait, wait till we put her on the ground and look at them. Yeah. Had yeah. the pieces for a. Uh, the I th I think it would have been a bitch taking the old exhaust manifolds off of it, mm -hmm. but I think it's I think getting to these rear bolts because when I go to put the new headers on it, I think getting to this mm -hmm. these two back here, mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be a bitch. Is that even? That that's been something to consider do while the transmission's out, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he done probably that. He, his money's running low. Yeah. You buy a tubular tape frame for the front. Yeah. That'd be nice. And put that steering rack on. Tight clearances, ain't it? Uh, that's a tight clearance, is it? Uh -huh. You want me to crank it down real tight? Yeah, because I got close gap up to the uh, clearances on the torque Yeah. All right. Uh, tighten this one all the way up. <laughs> you like the squirrel oh, on ice age? Yeah, he's yeah. always ch chasing that nut. He'd get there and he's all happy. <laughs> <laughs> he takes it from him. <laughs> oh, wow, man. We're still all in, you know. Yeah. I think it needs a washer on it. Yeah, I'm afraid of that, Brad. Oh, wow, I didn't see that. Huh? Yeah, we'll have to pull it back, guys. All right. All the way back. You know how we get on that out. 
That is a hell of a gap. Compression. He said he's gonna make it a full blown race car now. <laughs> That's what I told him. I said, take, take that gray car over there. That's just a shell. Turn that. And put a drag car. Take all the good stuff out of the orange and put the orange back. Oh, it's going to hell up there. The, the bumpers are rusting on it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Tighten the cross member now. Because the bitch was flying up. <laughs> yeah, really? And when I take off, it's flying yeah, fly up. up. That's what the Chevelle from does sometimes. Uh, I, I said whenever I get done trying to have serious uh, brass rakes, I'm one of these clutches Jer uh, Jericho. So we cut the original hard lines off. Yeah. And this is still the top. Oh, take it off. These originally go to the radiator. We're taking them, cutting them, the original lines off, running rubber hose up to in front of the radiator, and that's where the external cooler will mount. That's a neat little rig though that he's got cut tubing with. I like that. I like that a whole lot. But transmission then. Jumbo's there. It don't seem like that cross member made him much.
took the this is actually the original one took both of these which is your inlet and outlet wrapped it around here came through the side of the radiator there's a gap right here I'm sure y'all can see it and it'll be mounted right here with zip ties for now come down And this is going to be the piece of metal that I'm going to weld where the original radiator support was. Hold that, tack weld that in there. Transmission fluid going in. Hold the intake off so we can weld that piece in here. Which probably going to be too long, probably going to have to cut it. But. Okay. Getting the last line on it now. Huh? They're getting the last line on it. Can't hear you. Getting the last line on it. Eventually going to start rubbing. But uh -huh. I think those lines are going to. So they're little spacers that just pretty much slide onto whatever. I wouldn't exactly call that a zip tie. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done an external, external transmission cooler on anything. It's got little, huh? little, like styrofoam spacers in between. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. So you keep a little bit of it extra out just in case. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit right off that edge there. Oh, no 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hold up, only ain't gonna flop around anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, it, it should get to a hundred Find the hole. I found the hole. Damn, my motor stuck up underneath it there. Yeah, I, I did. I told him, I said, well, look where the number four plug is in the back there. All the way back. Man, you got to be a little slinky man to, to get in there. Does she come out from the bottom or she come out from the top? It's supposed to come out through the bottom. Yeah, they, you got to drop the came out. You dropped the old cradle out. The, the, the ones I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're good. Start it up. Okay. I think the keys are in the trunk. Uh, I think the keys are in the trunk. Okay.
everybody for supporting Project Z, and I wanted to especially thank Richard Thurman at Indian Town Performance, aka Richard's Automotive. Uh, he is in Vienna, Maryland, as you all saw in the video. You can freeze frame it when I was backing it out of the garage. It showed his uh, phone number, and for anyone wanting really nice transmission done, that is the man to go to, in my personal opinion. I've had the best of luck with him. He did the Turbo 350 in the blue Camaro. He did the 4L60 in the silver car. He did the 4L60 that's in my black Tahoe. He, he's done a lot of transmissions for us, and he is top-notch. But I wanted to talk about something that y'all probably did notice. The car didn't act like it wanted to shift from 1 to 2. Um, that is caused by a bad throttle position sensor, um, which is going to be replaced. And uh, I actually ended up finding that out, as y'all saw, when I was backing it out of the garage or when I first started it after we got the transmission fluid in it. I acted like it wanted to cut off. The throttle position sensor just isn't functioning right with the car. And... Them things will keep you guessing because normally throttle positioning sensors won't throw a check engine code or nothing like that. They just, they're erratic. And if the body control module, the ECM realizes even, just say the TPS is reading, but it's not reading correctly. The ECM is not going to throw a check engine code because it knows that the throttle positioning sensor is reading, but it's not reading correctly. So it doesn't throw a check engine code for it. So that threw me for a whirl. Um, so when y'all saw me go from first to second and then let off of it, let it in it, let off of it, let in it, that was why. I was trying to get it to shift into second. Uh, but, I mean, other than that, the car runs great. The transmission shifts perfect. Uh, we put the external transmission cooler on it. The transmission temps run perfect now. Everything is going really, really, really well with the Project Z, it's coming together pretty damn quick, and I can't thank Richard Thurman enough. Uh, at Richard's Automotive enough for getting the transmission straight for me. It's pretty awesome. He did a really good job, and I got a really good deal on it. Um, but it is a TCI 3200 stall. Um, it's got the SLP lid on it. The only thing, the downfall of the, that the car has right now, it doesn't have any exhaust, and it's a bone stock LS1 pretty much. So it has no back pressure. Um, it's getting long tube, uh, long tube engine seven eighths Texas speed headers and three inch, or it might be two and a half. I don't know. It's a true dual system that Texas Speed makes, but that's what she's going to be ended up ending up getting. Um, and then we're going to take it back up there, put the headers on it, and we're going to put the full exhaust on it. And so y'all will see him again. He said I can come up there and use the lift again for when we do do that. And another thing I wanted to point out to y'all, click the link down in the description. I have my own personal Discord again, and I wanted to make that for y'all. Um, y'all can come in there, ask me questions. I have a little section that says ask me a question. Um, y'all can post pictures of your own cars. Tell me about what you got going on. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I love hearing all the support that y'all have and. I just love hearing about cars in general. I'm I'm a car geek. Um, I specialize in GM stuff. As most of y'all know, my name used to be Chevy Boy 757. But uh, y'all join it and ask me questions. Hell, come play uh, American Truck Simulator if y'all do play that. I really enjoy playing that game. And thank y'all for uh, supporting the channel still to this day. Even though I don't do... 5M videos anymore. I hope y'all really enjoy these real life videos and projects because there's a lot more to come of her. And y'all take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.